Okay, social media forensics is the act of going to a social media platform and being able to collect the data related to you know, an individual or group account and storing that data for review later on in any uh, litigation. Uh, just about any type of social media data um, can be used in court. The key is to be able to uh, prove or verify uh, through the use of forensic tools that the data was collected in a manner that did not alter some of the key you know, text messages, posting messages, or photos that were uploaded to the site. You know, one of the biggest questions we get is whether or not deleted posts can be recovered. Uh, think of it in terms of two different people accessing the same account. If a person uh, deletes a post using their own user account, then usually that deleted post is not recoverable. However, if that same person is able to log into their account uh, in fairly short proximity to the time the message was deleted, it may actually be able to be recovered. Uh, there is a lot of information that can be extracted from a, a Facebook account. Uh, one of the key things that you would have to think about is what type of account the actual user has. Is the user setting their account to be public, which means you know anything that they have can be viewed by anyone from outside uh, the main account. If that is the case, then there is data that can be obtained, such as you know the active data and posts, current images, uh, the groups that the user actually participates in and you know other information just relative to the individual user. If the account is private, it makes it a little more difficult. But if the account is private and you have the user credentials, then we can actually go in and collect data that relates uh, not only to what is active, but it also helps gather information such as IP addresses, uh, geolocation information, um, deleted messages or posts. Those are some of the key pieces of information that often, you know, come to light in any type of social media collection. And because, you know, social media is ever changing, speed is of the essence. In order to collect the account and collect it in its most current state, uh, it has to be done relatively quickly. Because there are a couple of um, issues that can be avoided uh, by collecting it quicker rather than later. And one of those issues is deleted data. If a, whether it's an, an intentional deletion, such as the user actually removing content, um, or unintentional, uh, whether it be software or hardware issues that arise that, you know, can happen in the age of, you know, digital media, stuff happens and information can be deleted at you know, the behest or control of anybody um, related to the account. And the other pitfall it may also help avoid is the pitfall of spoliation. Because you've actually issued the uh, preservation notice and took the steps necessary to quickly access the account, that will help you later on in litigation.